What's up, everybody? This is Cheeky CP. This is episode 14. The challenge was Afro Beats. All right, there we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so that's the beat. Um, so just as E was talking about, um, you know, this is something new. So playing around with it was pretty interesting. Um, but really, I just created a core that was kind of like built upon like what you hear. Like I would say, fifty percent of the Afrobeat stuff I listen to kind of has somewhat of a uh, formulaic vibe to it, where it's based off of a clave, which is just like ka ka ka. Ka, ka, right um but there's a lot of subtle stuff happening and that's what i was trying to pick up throughout the whole week so the core of the beat really is just based off of that rhythm so that's that's the backbone of, of what's going on the subtle stuff is all in the shakers and the wood block so when you listen to the kind of like just the percussion in this song, that is the subtle stuff. So it's there's a driving element to the to percussion within this track. And then when you hear the keys, the keys are just um, kind of accenting the clave. But I did something a little thing a little bit unique. The first half is pretty straight, and the second half is just a little bit off the grid. So play with the rhythm a little bit with uh, the keys that you hear. And then what I did was I added, this is kind of cliche, but I added the, the reverse sound. So you got some reverse stuff happening. Right here, okay. <laughs> So it's based around like four different chords kind of going back and forth. And then that kind of makes it feel a little bit more vibey. Um, and then I played some guitar and some bass on this track. So the rest of the track, 
I wanted the chorus to kind of hit and have a little bit of a riff that people would kind of remember. So that riff that I made, I'll just solo that so you could hear that. Oh man, that's thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So that's the, the, the riff, um, and I added some rhythm guitar behind it. So I split these, one guitar is a little bit pan left, and one guitar is a little bit pan right. So together they accent each other. It's kind of like all based upon that same chord progression. And I'll play that for you right now. And when you add the reverse chords to it, it like really creates pretty cool vibe, which I'll play for you. And then there's two bass elements to this song. One of those elements really is the um, 808. So I just threw in some 808, really, really, really simple 808. I'll play it for you here. One second and then i added the other bass element is the actual bass bass guitar so first i'll play the 808 and then i'll add the bass guitar that's not it there it is so just the sub feel and now with bass guitar And the secret sauce, the thing that I'm really getting into um, is the arpeggios. And we, we played this last week. So this week, the arpeggio is really accenting the rhythm. Um, and it's really far in the background, just like E was talking about. He's pushing things way back in the mix just to be pretty subtle. But the arpeggio uh, that I'm using is just kind of based off one chord. And the rhythm is pretty funky. And when I add that to the rhythm, it's like way far in the back. And what I'll do is let me just bring that up because that is way down there. So what am I at? Negative 26. Okay, this is it. This is the arpeggio. So it's way back there and it, it creates kind of like a really cool element. Um, but when all is said and done, all that adds up and you kind of just get that cool Afrobeat vibe.